Operative versus non-operative treatment for the management of full thickness rotator cuff tears, a systematic review and meta-analysis. This review dives into the two most common approaches to treat rotator cuff tears with the non-operative approach focused on physio compared to getting surgery. The analysis highlights that positive outcomes are seen with both options and discusses some of their strengths and weaknesses as well. For example, a downside of the non-operative group is the potential for tear progression, and an upside for the operative group is a noticeably smaller financial burden and a quicker return to work. This systematic review tries to break down current research to help answer the big question of what approach is better. The research group found three papers with a mean age range of 59 to 65 and included about 269 patients. The key comparison to determine effectiveness was comparing constant scores and VAS scores between operative and non-operative groups. CS was originally designed to assess shoulder disorders in general by combining subjective and objective measurements such as pain, activities of daily living, strength, and range of motion. While the visual analog scale is the measure of pain intensity, progression, or severity between two points in time. Great for its simplicity to administer, this test can also capture small changes as well. However, it's highly subjective as it attempts to assign a single value to something as incredibly complex as pain. So let's dive into the results. The data sets were limiting as not all participants had the same procedure in the operative group, and not all participants had the same physiotherapy experience in the non-operative group. However, they did find that there does not seem to be any short-term differences between both groups when solely comparing CS and VAS scores. Unfortunately, long-term data does not exist, and we would be incredibly useful comparing these two groups. It's important to also note that the results of this review doesn't mean that there aren't other meaningful comparisons that can be looked at. Important information like likelihood of re-injury, financial burden, or maybe even perceived quality of life were not looked at here and may not represent the same results as found by this review. If you suffered a rotator cuff injury, make sure you take the appropriate steps to get it looked at. Discuss your options with your medical team and evaluate what makes the most sense for you. And thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, don't forget to get active, stay active, and live active.